Cyclist 1222 here. Yeah, I finally did it. I finally got the Bear Grills or one of the Bear Grills knives. And this one is the folding sheath knife. And yeah, it, it, it is gimmicky. I understand that it is gimmicky, but I'm here to tell you this is a real good knife. I've handled all of them and I think this is probably the best of the Bear Grill selection. And you know, you see this knife for $35 in a lot of the retail stores, $35, $30. I didn't pay that much for it. I thought that would be a little bit too much for this kind of knife. I didn't want to pay for the gimmick gig part, but I did want to pay for the knife. So I ended up finding it on sale uh, on Amazon for $19 free shipping. And for this knife, you can't beat that. $19 is a great deal. So looking past the gimmickiness of the Bear Grylls marketing and Bear Grylls himself and however you feel about Bear Grylls. Putting all that aside, this I think is a fantastic knife, especially for what I paid for it. The first thing I noticed about this knife when I took it out of the package is just the feel of it. This knife just feels fantastic in your hand. And that's because of the design of the grip. The gray area is a nice rubbery grippy material. The orange uh, areas on the ends is a hard plastic. But this knife just feels comfortable and very solid in the hand. You just It just feels great. It just feels great. This knife is probably becoming my favorite, uh, one of my favorite folding knives. And uh, you know me, I don't have a lot of real expensive knives, but this one really is high quality. The knife overall is eight and a half inches long when it's open. The blade from tip to the end of the handle is uh, about three and three quarter. The um, cutting edge of the knife is about three and a half inches. And a lot of people say oh, it's, um, it's uh, Gerber's Mystery Steel. I don't know if it's Mystery Steel. I've seen it uh, advertised as 440A and a uh, CRMOV type steel. So, um, and that's fine. And a lot of people are down on the Gerber steels. Uh, I, I think they're fine. It performs well. Yeah, it's not a top of the line steel, but however they uh, work with the steel and heat treat it, process it, I think it comes out pretty good. It's a good workable steel. A lot of serrations on this blade. Uh, I, I don't mind serrations. These serrations, my camera doesn't focus very well. I need a new camera, but these serrations are, are very shallow serrations. They're not deeply cut at all. They're great for cutting rope and cordage, and you can shave wood with it, and you can make a fire stick, and you can do things like that. I know it's not a, a straight edge in that, uh, that workable area, but you can do a lot with this serrated edge, and it, if you need a serrated blade, it, it, it does come in handy very sharp very sharp out of the box these serrations are danger sharp I'll dispense with the paper cutting um, demonstration but these serrations will cut paper very easily it slices right through it the serrations actually cut the paper better than the uh, straight edge uh, good thick blade dual thumb stud so it is ambidextrous um, you would think that because this is a rubber material that the handle is not strong and solid, but it is. It's very strong and solid. The knife, I love the lockback designs. I think the lockbacks typically, not always, but typically are a little bit stronger than liner locks or even frame locks. But this is a good, solid knife. This is no toy. Um, when you open it up, it locks solid. There is no play in the blade. No play up and down, side to side. Really has a great feel. And you can operate this knife one-handed. A lot of people are complaining that, oh, you need two hands to operate this knife. No, you can, there it's open, and you can just, you know, wiggle it down a little bit. You can grab it, close it with one hand. Let's see if I can do it, open it. Well, that was pretty poor. And there you go, you can whip it out there with one hand and you can close it with one hand so that's not a problem if you got two hands available it is 
does work a little bit better with two hands. It's a good uh, top view of the handle. Very comfortable handle. Very sticky, very grippy. You're not going to drop this knife. What does it weigh? I don't know. Let's put it on the scale here. I think it weighs about eh, somewhere around four ounces. I think I don't remember. Others, others have weighed it on uh, YouTube reviews, and um, they've, you know, shaved wood with it, and even batoned with it, and did all have done all kinds of demonstrations with it. So you can see that on other reviews. So I think that this is a good knife, a real good knife. Don't worry about the BG on there and the orange colors. The orange colors are okay. If it's it's some kind of a uh, survival backup knife, you're going to want to find it when you need it. So I think the orange is okay. I don't mind that. It's got a lanyard hole in the back. You can put a lanyard on it. And um, I think you'll be able to get a lot of use out of this knife. Very solid very sturdy the blade is has a slight uh, hollow grind to it nice uh, belly there to the straight edge you could skin with this um, you know you can do a lot of uh, camp tasks you know you're not going to beat on it it is a folding knife you're not going to beat on it but for a backup situation an emergency situation you can do a lot with this knife with uh, bush crafting I know the serrations are there, but you can still do quite a bit of bushcrafting with this knife. That's not a problem. Comes with the uh, nylon sheath, which is nice. Yeah, it's got a little orange. It says beer and BG on there, but it um, it is a decent decent sheath. If it has any tatted ends on it, I get your lighter out and, and melt them. That 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 helps your nylon, any nylon sheath or any nylon pouch to last longer. I always do that. Melt all the loose um, nylon threads and it'll kind of cauterize them, and your sheath will last a whole lot longer, and they won't pull out. But uh, the the sheath is fine. It has a little pouch in the back for the f survival um, instructions that come with it. I uh, I put them in one of my other bags right now, but uh, so you put them in the back. And the knife does fit in there pretty well. It's nice and snug. Velcro closure. It would be nice if there was a snap there. The Velcro is okay. I, I prefer a nice snap, but some have snap and Velcro. But the Velcro works okay. Decent uh, belt loop there. These two loops on the side, you're really not going to put a belt and have a horizontal carry that way. That That's more for like putting on a pack maybe on your front straps of your backpack or, or something like that but you know you'd have to have a real thin belt to get that on horizontally you could do it but with the belts I wear when I'm hiking or out camping in the bush um, I'm gonna have to put it that way on there okay so there it is the bear grills folding sheath knife a good knife forget about the Bear Grylls uh, gimmick and marketing uh, you know put, putting that aside this is a this is a pretty good knife pretty good knife I would not hesitate if you can find this for 25 bucks or less and usually on Amazon it's at it's at the 25 buck $25 price point. I wouldn't pay 30 or more for it. I think that's a bit much for this kind of knife, but it's certainly well worth 25 And if you can find it for less than that, like I did for 19 bucks, that's a great deal. And it's well worth it. So there it is. The Bear Grills folding sheath knife. I recommend it. Cyclist 1222, out.